Okay, for quests and campaigns, book one. Technically, I think I'll just cover book one and then brief quickly book two, because they're the same format. Uh, they're another thick book. They're each like about 400 pages. Uh, same thing, credits page, is technically title page back here first, and then credits page, contents page. So this covers you through, again, the how to play is covered, because really, let's just pretend you don't know, because maybe you have more questions. Why go back to the old book? I can just give you it right here. And it's all of, I think, 30 pages. Yeah, 32 pages. I'll just give it to you right here. This is all the quests. Generally speaking, you must do these campaigns before you can do these. When you look at the quest, it'll say you must have completed this campaign. So you'll know what you have to do first. Uh, as a general rule, you have to do the campaign where someone is using a, an item. They're using a processing plant to turn raw minerals into a ship upgrade. You do that first, and then you can go up here and do a quest. It's actually in book two. You do that quest where you can have your own processing plant and add it to your world, to your base, to where the space station is. You can actually, you know, you got to do the campaign to see what it is, because that way you then do the quest, you know what it looks like. You've had scans, because during your campaign you scanned everything. You know exactly how it works now. You just have to get the parts and get someone who can build it for you. So that's when you do the quest. Some of these quests you can do again and again for extra money or extra items. Book two, okay, I'll get to book two. In a, actually, you know, I'll cover it right now. Book two also covers mining, uh, doing lumbering, doing farming. So a lot of their quests you can do over and over again. So you can actually get more raw minerals. You can actually get more animal parts from the floating animals that float out in space and attack you. You can get a lot of those parts by redoing those quests. Book one was a lot more straightforward. You might do some of the, uh, I think book two got into those. Uh, see, book two was the open a mine, buy a farm, dig a drill, processing plant, refueling, space tethered, anti-nanite tech, because the uh, nanite infused creatures and races out there are nasty to fight. But if you get anti-nanite tech, they're a bit more normal. Companion copy, that's so you can take a ship with you into the Nineverse. It's not just one ship, you can take two ships. Then stock your base in the Nineverse. Uh, this one you get to build your defenses, build a space station, build shipyards. The auxiliary quests, those are the ones you can redo over and over again to make money. Basically make credits. Starter quest just gets you going. The main book campaigns have to deal with getting to the beacon, which is on the world of Ashtar. Everyone wants to get there. Everyone wants to control it. They don't know what it is. It's just in them that they must control it. Well, when you get there, you discover it's a key. It's a key to what? That leads to book two. So as part of that, you actually have different threads that you can take. Do you want to play as a Klaxian, as Nash Turan, as a Kelmusian? So from the planet of Kalaxios, Ashtar, or Kelmet? That's up to you. Part of this is you get to go down here to get the nine verse key, there's a mercenary's thread. So you're just a mercenary at the ploy of, all, of whoever you've chosen to follow and you get to decide what team you're on. If you're on the Kelmet team, that means you're against the, the other two, and you have to fight them with Kelmet helping you. If you're on the team for Kalaxios, that means you're on Kelmet's team, your Kalaxios' team, sorry. The other two worlds have un units that attack you. There are group fights that take place in these. The War Rages, that's actually an original campaign, not written by myself, that's written by uh, Free Heathen. This again was the How to Play, Go through the character races. Starter quest. You have a choice of what to do. Three different ones. You go through the quests. This helps you get a base. Helps you get, helps you get a solar system and a base. Yeah. I will correct myself again. It helps you get a solar system, the base, 
was the next one. So you go through, it's a cycle, level one. You go through this cycle over and over again. You move from your mother's basement up to owning an entire solar system. This is one of the campaigns. There's a description. Obstacle one or goal one. What you're fighting. Level two. Here we're getting into one of the campaigns. 2.1, 2.2. They're separated by what you're doing for it. The story of what you're doing. Here's your home team. These are the Astran defenders, so who you're fighting, and then you fight them. If you're fighting server units, you get them. In this one, you have a home team, all these guys, and you're fighting the Kalmutian team. So there's a story, these are the campaigns. Again, you do the campaigns to unlock the quests, which lets you have a solar system and then a base, and then a whole lot of extras. You get the, yeah, you get uh, some of these, you know, check with this. If you're going through the mercenary threads, you unlock mercenary gear. And I believe, yes, there is a mercenary thing you unlock as part of that. And these can be moved forward. So the mercenaries, I have to turn it sideways, sorry. Mercenaries recoil craft. So different stats for it, different things come with it. Some of the mercenary craft, which you can use after you earn it, this is now yours, park it at your base on your world. You have shipyards, put it in a shipping dock and repair it or just put it in a shipping dock and fuel it up. You basically can, you'll end up with five different mercenary craft. Some of them are designed to go faster. Some are designed to carry other ships. You can hold up to three other ships docked in with yours. Some are designed for battle. Some are designed for stealth. Use the ship you want. Once you have more mercenary ships, just pick your favorite. It's up to you. In the second book, you do get extras. You improve your stats. And your mercenary craft now can do more stuff. These are more single thread though. You don't play as different worlds. You're mainly a mercenary in this one. Uh, and it's basically otherwise the same thing. In this world though, you get things like buy, opening a mine, doing farming, drilling, growing plants from other worlds on your base, refueling platforms so you don't always have to go back to get gas from your main place. You can take it with you. Uh, space tether, you know, all these things. In the third book, we're going to have magic is going to be opened up for the game. Uh, it's going to be different, hopefully, and yet interesting. Let me know what you guys think. These were basically, again, the introduction to these books. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I haven't had the space to do it. Now I have space, so I did it. Um, hope you like it. Let me know what you think.